In this video, we're going to be addressing the question which has been plaguing philosophers for centuries, and that is whether you should be taking that additional A-level if you want to apply to Oxford or Cambridge. Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. My name is Rohan. I'm a third year medical student studying at Cambridge University. This is going to be a video addressing a very specific question, and it's whether you should be taking three or four A-levels if you're applying to Oxbridge. And this is something I was grappling with loads when I was applying to Cambridge. The first thing I'd say, it very much depends on your own circumstances. For example, if your school doesn't offer the opportunity to take four A-levels due to timetabling issues or policy or whatever, do not worry, Oxford or Cambridge will not discriminate against you. And even if your school does offer the opportunity to take four A-levels, the requirement is only ever three A-levels. And I even emailed the admissions department at Cambridge asking this question, bearing in mind that I was coming from a school which did offer the opportunity to take that extra subject. And the guidance on the official website is, normally you won't have any advantage taking four A-levels, but if you do take a STEM subject, they recommend having further maths as a fourth A-level. And the guidance at Oxford is similar. But the reason why this was on my mind so much is just that anecdotally, everyone who I'd talked to seemed to be taking four A-levels who were at Cambridge. So I think it's worth considering what the pros and cons of taking four A-levels are. I think the main advantage of taking four A-levels is that you demonstrate something called spare capacity. This shows basically that you're able to deal with a higher workload. And this suggests that you'll be able to better adapt to the intense workload at Oxford or Cambridge. It also demonstrates your academic curiosity and that you're willing to take any academic opportunity that comes your way. And I think this sends a really good message because you're not just doing the bare minimum to apply, but you're learning for the sake of learning's sake and you are genuinely interested in gaining that extra knowledge or those extra skills which comes with doing another subject. Another advantage which may not be obvious from the start is it does give you flexibility, particularly when you're deciding what subject to drop maybe at the end of year 12. So I know many schools including mine they start you off with doing four A-levels, and then most students will drop their fourth A-level at the end of year 12, but some will carry on doing all four to the end of year 13. And I think just because A-levels are quite different to GCSEs, sometimes we're not so good at evaluating our own strengths and weaknesses, and which ones are strong subject and which ones are weak. And that actually might be different to the subject we enjoy and the subject we don't. And basically, just doing a set of AS level exams, so these are just usually run internally as internal year 12 exams, will give you a much better idea to see which subjects you're strong and weak at. So it can give you a better idea of which subject you should be dropping. And even if you do decide to take all four into A level and year 13, I think at Oxford they still only give a three grade offer. And even at Cambridge, where they do give four grade offers, Usually the fourth subject, they require a much lower grade. So for example, my offer to study medicine was A star, A star, A, C. So you can see that fourth subject, they just wanted me to pass. Well, it kind of takes the pressure off doing the fourth subject, like, as in like, even if you mess up one of the other exams, that still shouldn't affect your chances of fulfilling that offer, if you know what I mean. And um, I really do think, so I'm a passionate advocate for four A-levels if you can, and I do think doing four addresses a problem which I've actually seen in quite a few students of over-revising. Because if you think about it, there are only so many past papers and so many lessons and revision uh, you can do. And basically there's something called the law of diminishing returns. And the more and more you study something, you do past papers, like the less and less benefit you get during time. And I think it is actually possible to over-revise and like basically just learn the mark scheme so well by doing Let's say I saw people doing past papers two or three times and um, that basically just kills their ability to think on their feet, to think in terms of first principles because they literally have not had to use their brain in so many months. This is kind of what happened to me in one of my medical school exams in head and neck anatomy. So I feel a much better use of time is to do a fourth A level which you enjoy instead of like spending loads and loads of hours just relearning, redoing questions in your free periods and in, at home. But having said that, it is different depending whether you're going down a sciences route or a humanities route. The sciences and maths, they're a lot less content heavy than the humanities. And with like things like history, religious studies, philosophy, stuff like that, there's a lot more extra reading you're expected to do even at A-level. 
So in those cases, it may not be feasible to do four A-levels simply because you might be overrun with content or writing essays and stuff like that. That's why it's a lot more common just for people doing STEM subjects to do four A-levels, but it's less so with people doing artsy or humanities subjects. Remember when you are picking your subjects to see which ones are required for the course that you're aiming for. So for example, for medicine, it's actually chemistry which is your most important subject. You can actually get in without biology, and there are some people on my course who haven't taken biology and are doing really well actually. It's very common if you're taking sciences to also take maths. Maths, I would say, was quite a big jump from GCSE, particularly the A2 content, so that's year 13. And my fourth subject, which I chose with medicine, is physics. And that's because I just enjoyed physics quite a lot. And it's actually quite useful for medicine, like stuff like radioactivity, forces and capacitance are useful also for certain diagnostics and or like understanding how muscles and nerves work. I think for fourth subject, you should be aiming for something that you enjoy. So it's like worthwhile doing the optional extra work and something which is not too content heavy. So it doesn't take loads of time away from your other three subjects. Some people say that, oh, should I do a contrasting subject? So if like Latin, if you're doing sciences and maths, but this is not at all necessary you're much better off picking something which you enjoy. And if this is something which is also relevant to the subject you want to study at university, this is even better. The cases I wouldn't recommend doing for A-levels if you are genuinely busy um, outside of your A-level studies. So for example, if you have lots of commitments like in extracurricular activities or outside school, if you really are taking something quite seriously outside of school, like playing sport at a national level or whatever, it may not be feasible to take on that extra workload. And I think using your year 12 exams to assess the situation is really important because there is a step up from year 12 to year 13 in terms of content. I would be wary of doing four A-levels unless you're achieving like A star, A star, A, A or something at the end of your exams in year 12. That's if you're aiming for the highest grades in A-levels. Obviously, if that's not your priority, but you just want to have as broad a knowledge base as possible, then by all means, go for the fourth A-level. That brings us to the end of the video, and the bottom line is, if you can do it for A-levels, definitely go for it. It's so worthwhile. You'll have such a great experience doing it. But if you can't, for whatever reason, that's absolutely no problem, and neither Oxford or Cambridge will look at your application less favourably even if your school does offer the opportunity to do another subject. So anyway, that's it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and do consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already done so for more content like this in the future. Anyway, take care and bye for now.